Second row coming forward. They'll soon be ready. Lights on. Lewis starting his run. The fourth out of Gawler today. Racing now. Odeo slow to begin. Best out. Cardu two. It's leading from Hayride. Row bottom showing good speed to move up. And also joining in is Foe Alley. Foe Alley going stride for stride with Cardu two leading the back. Gets a half in front, Foe Alley. Then Hayride row bottom. Coming back on the inside, Cardu two. Well out of it was Odios and well back on the field. Bombers Queen at Aqua Percy getting near home. Three across the track. Tell you what, this is tight between Cardu two and Hayride row bottom. I think Foe Alley might have missed out by half a head, but there's three in line. And they're back in behind those was Bombers Queen, Odios and Aqua Percy. 23-4 and the eight has got up. Hayride row bottom. The wide runner. Got plenty of track and uh, pegged them back in the last stride. Second is seven, Foe Alley. Third is four, Cardu two. In a great finish. And fourth is Bombers Queen. Half a head by a nose. Half a head by a nose. 8.94 the first split. Run home was 14.51. And that might be an omen for the Sydney Swans backers. Because Dave Perry's uh, got his uh, South Melbourne dog up. Hayride row bottom. 8.745. Half a head by a nose. That trio had the race to themselves so right from the word go. They were away on terms. Cardu 2 got the rails. I thought he'd probably win from there. He was joined and headed by Foe Alley. And then right around the outside of both of them came Hayride Rowbottom. For a stride or two, I thought it was the Hotham handicap and a triple dead heat. But Hayride Rowbottom's got the money. Third favourite in the event.